I've got two questions for you. What would you release from your life that no longer serves you? And what would you bring into your life that would add to the quality of your life? Hi, my name is Leah Piper and I'm with More Love Works where we've got the GPS to sacred sex. And I like those two questions because they're easy to remember and they're great for setting an intention for any ritual or practice. You can use them whether you are practicing by yourself, with a partner, or with a group. Intentions are something that you put out to the universe. If you're going to be working with anything that has a lot of energy, you might as well give that energy an intention. It can go out to the universe where hopefully somebody's listening, and that energy, that wish, that speaking out loud and affirming that you have a desire that you want to work on goes out there. And it really adds more power to anything that you're practicing. Now, when would you want to use an intention? In the beginning of a practice. Additionally, when you share those intentions in the beginning, it helps create the container that is holding space for the practice itself. You can also use the intentions during orgasm. Pretty interesting method where your partner is in the world of orgasm and then while they're in that beautiful place of release, you send the message and it gets into the psyche even stronger and helps with the manifestation of those desires. For instance, Sammy and Gary got a chance to play with the practice themselves because at that time, at that retreat, Gary lost his job and it was pretty devastating and really bad timing. They just bought a brand new house. They had a, a bigger mortgage and it was really stressful. So for his intention, he wanted to call in a new job that he got paid even more was closer to home, shorter commute, and for a company that he really believed in. So for every practice, Sammy, his partner, kept on saying the words, you got the job, you got the job, you got the job. Sammy was having a hard time uh, with his relationship to his grandmother, which has always been a bit toxic. And he had made the choice that he was gonna sever the ties because his grandmother did not support his uh, sexual preference, his relationship to his beloved. So his intention was to release the power that his grandmother had over him. In a situation like this, Sammy had some, some emotional healing to do. And so Gary would work on his heart, massaging his heart gently, sharing eye contact and breaths, and he would just talk to Sammy's heart. It's okay to let go. And then he would rub on his partner's um, belly and navel, the power center, and then he would just say, we're cutting the cords to her power. She can't have your power anymore. We're cutting those cords. You're free. Take your power back. Take your power back. Now let's talk about the roadblocks because sometimes you're on this journey and you know you ask somebody their intentions and they say, I don't know, which is like totally lame. You know, like come up with something. What, you can't dig in and come up with something you want to release and something you want to bring in. It's not brain science. So tip number one is don't say, I don't know. Now roadblock number two is just forgetting to do it. So you gotta remember, take those notes. Now why should you try it today, tonight, this week? Because if you never try it, you'll never know the magic of it. You'll never understand the power. So you know, okay, it might be a little woo woo, but who cares, it doesn't hurt anybody. Give it a try and you're gonna see that the power of ritual always starts with your intention. And those affirmations, whew, they will bring the magic and they got the juice, so don't forget them. To help you out, download the form and we will get you an outline of a ritual. In the comments below, we'd love it if you would share your intentions. We wanna get good ideas from everybody. So I'll see you at morelovedworks.com and I send you lots of love, 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 love.